In tonight's big story, people came together to remember the life of an upstate teen. This is Zaylin Jackson. The coroner says that he was hit by a car on Old Hills Bridge Road Sunday morning and he died on scene. He was just 15 years old. Tonight there was a vigil for Zaylin. It wrapped up just before we went on the air at 10 at a baseball field there. Yeah, Fox Carolina's Rickley Cromer joins us live in Woodruff where that vigil happened. And when we checked in with you earlier, Brooklyn, I know you told us such a great crowd came out to remember the life of Zaylin. That's right, Tori, a huge turnout here tonight. Dozens of family, friends, and loved ones filled this baseball field here behind me. They held candles to remember the teen who his family says was taken too soon. Tonight, people came together to hold a vigil in Zaylin's memory. People lit candles, released balloons, and spoke about the boy they say was smart and had a bright future that was tragically cut short. We talked to his great-grandmother at the vigil. She tells us the community has come together for their family. They have really put out a good support for this child. Lots of them know him personally, knew him personally. And he has lots of friends to be no older than he was. And Spartanburg School District 4 says Zaylin was a freshman at Woodruff High School. Counseling is now available for students there processing what happened. And an arrest has been made in this case. We told you about Travis Collins. He's charged with felony DUI resulting in death. Reporting live in Woodruff, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 11 o'clock news.